Those tiny fangs do more than just suck blood. They secrete a powerful enzyme that prevents blood from clotting. People have studied the, the, the issue of why, how can a bat eat so long, uh, wouldn't the blood clot? Uh, and they found there's a number of products which break down clots in the, uh, in the saliva of the bat. Bill Lukowski is director of the stroke program at Swedish Neuroscience Institute. He's participating in a study for a new investigational clot-busting drug called Dysmotoplase, derived from proteins in vampire bat saliva. The advantage to us is that it would break down a clot, uh, which may be blocking an artery in the brain. Stroke patients have only a three-hour window from the start of symptoms to get to a hospital, where doctors can administer the current FDA-approved clot-dissolving drug, TPA. The big problem uh, is that many people don't get to the emergency department by three hours, and there's no accepted drug universally for what to do after that. 74-year-old Bruce Gibbs was outside that three-hour window for his last stroke, so doctors placed a brain stent in his blocked artery. The new drug would extend the window to nine hours, giving patients like this retired Boeing engineer more time. Still have some impairment on my right side, but I can live with that. Those of us who treat stroke recognize that anything which can lessen the disability associated with it uh, provides us a marvelous opportunity to help people. The study is expected to enroll 400 patients and will evaluate the drug's effectiveness by looking at patient outcomes 90 days after treatment. In Seattle, this is Mark Christopher.